Single player selected. And welcome back, friends. Welcome back to Thimbleweed. All right, we're off to hand that check stub to the lawyer. It's proof. We paid our bills. Yes. And I, I want to read a movie later. We'll stop well, back over here. Make sure it's a good one, though. <laughs> that's, but they probably will be good because it is 87 after oh, all. Oh, exactly. Has, uh, let me see, has Total Recall come out yet? No, that was 90s, Chip Hats. Oh, man. Well, what's come out in 87? Breakfast Club. Pro yeah, Breakfast Club. You want to rip Breakfast Club? I was thinking Aliens, Chip Hats. Has that come out yet? That's out. Oh, we're, we're, that's what we're written then. Do you need right, some cosplay you. advice? Oh, hi, Dolores. What brings you back to Thimbleweed Park? Yeah, I don't mm. like him. I have a canceled check for you. It clearly says that you were paid by Uncle Chuck to read the will. That it does. My apologies. I'll crook. go to the mansion mansion right away. Crookedy crook crook crook. All right. Gosh, there's so many things to think of as well. How are we going to get the ghost crystal up on the roof? I don't know. It's the road to... Now, I'm glad it has a checklist because things like Monkey Island didn't really have a checklist. You just had to think. keep it in mind and then you forgot. Hey, Doug. Dig in! I see we are all here now. Excellent. Before we oh, can Doug proceed too. with the reading of the will, <laughs> Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, Thimbleberry Pie must be served to all present. Two, the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, mm. crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all ones and zeros. Dolores, you figure it out. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever. Oh, no. Oh, no papers. Let's well, have a look at the diary. Okay, find out what happened to Dad. Get inside the pillow factory. Decrypt Chuck's will for the lawyer. Thimbleberry pie. Yep, we we know where that is already. So, what? Where is it? It's at the diner, Pugman. You didn't is see that it? they were serving pie. They're serving pie there. I gotta do it. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Hmm. Click on the will. Chipettes. Can you read that? <laughs> no, is, is there a code in that? Is there a picture in that, Chip Pants? I can't see that. Or I'm just going way too far on this. Way too far. Are you sure? Way too far. Are the people seen a picture? Maybe if Come you on back. If you tilt your head to the right a little bit. Nope, nope. You come on back, Pugman. <laughs> mm. This is all in binary. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. All right, so the, to the computer labs, chip pants. To the computers. And, and we gotta have pie. <laughs> Are you sure they sell pie? Of course they do. I saw I'm thinking we're gonna need those berries from the um, woods. Oh my gosh. But anyway. Get pro get get the programming chip pants. There might be just regular pie, and then we'll have to oh we'll think about that later. Okay. Now use will with computer. No. This She's isn't typing. working. Oh. I'm going to need a pretty powerful programming language to decrypt this will. Maybe what? the basic? Oh, oh, put it back. Is it in the computer, Chip Pants? Where did I just put it? <laughs> My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic. <laughs> there we go. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant <laughs> career ahead of them. <laughs> I'm 
short 15 minutes of coding and decoding later. That's totally more readable. Okay, I've not seen any patterns. No. Hmm. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to find the key to decode it. Maybe <sighs> if I could remember Uncle Chuck's lucky number. He Just used it to win the lottery a few years back. I know it. What is it, Chip? Where did one. you find it? First? I've I've got it written on my notes here. It just says Lotto One Two Two. Oh, uh, you know where we read it in the um, the news paper place. It was in an article. Unbelievable! You got to click on everything, people. Everything. All right. It's a key. So we've decrypt. Okay. Symbol we pi. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. No, we haven't decrypted it yet, Chip Pants. We need but to how, do it. How do we it's do it? It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 Go, scroll down with dual 1541 items. floppy drives and a blazing... Okay, I'm going to put it in the computer. Okay. Hmm. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to find the key to decode it. Maybe if I could remember Uncle Chuck's lucky number. We he do. used it to win the lottery a few years back. Let's see. I decoded it from binary and got a bunch of hex numbers. Knowing Uncle Chuck, huh? he would have encrypted the will using the unbreakable exclusive ore and using his lucky number as the key. Okay, here goes. Okay, okay, okay. It's probably a small number less than What's 100. the number, Chip Hats? It's 122. 122, okay. So that's cool. It's the middle one. It's yep. probably a larger number greater. Uh, it's an even number. Ends with a two. It probably starts with... Nope, it starts with an odd number. Okay, it probably starts with a one. Yes. The rest of the bits are irrelevant to cryptography. I'll just bitwise and them away. I did it. Well done, chip pants. Yay! Gotta keep a notepad too. Can we have a look at the wheel? Let's have a look. Ah, uh, Charles Edmund, being of sound mind and body, do with the, hereby with the zero. declare <laughs> this my last will and testament, revoking any and all wills previous made by me. I declare that I am making this last will and testament of my own will, being under no threat of coercion or duress or no other of no other human being. I am free mind. I am a free mind and body. I declare that I have no children, natural or adopted. I have a single brother, Franklin, and he has two offspring, Lenore and Dolores. I hereby appoint Brant Bulwick, JD, as executor of my will and directs, directs that he serve without bond. This will, this will is executed under the law of jurisdiction of Thimbleweed County and all claims and forfeitures will be in accordance with its law as of the year 1987. It is my desire that the following will be... Oh, and then okay. we, we have to get him to read it for us. All right. I did it. Mm. It's totally decoded now. I'll give it back to Mr. Balowick. We got to get some pie, though, too, Pugman. Well, you keep telling me they serve it in... That restaurant that serves hot dogs, right? <laughs> yes, but you probably hit the nail on the head that we have to get us some thimble weed. Give give him the will first, your pants. You reckon? Go ahead, give it to him. I don't want them running off with it. <laughs> All our hard work here. What? Give. Give. Here's the decoded will, Mr. Balowick. Let me see. You've done it, Dolores. Two of Chuck's three stipulations are now fulfilled. The will is decoded and the tomb is opened. We still need a thimbleberry pie, and then we'll meet inside Chuck's opulent tomb. Okay. To the pie shop, peoples. Oh man, we're gonna have to have pie after this. Aren't we, Pug? Come on, Pug. Well. Aren't we, Pug? <laughs> <laughs> Pizza or pie, chip heads? Ooh, both. Both, Pizza both, pie. both. <laughs> Pizza pie. That's I, a, 
I wonder if we could use the foil that we got off the brick to grab the berries. You can try it. If we need the berries. Would that protect us from thorns? Hmm. Come on, Dolores. You know where we're going. We interrupt our hostile takeover. Oh. Not welcome to the S and D diner. Go. Cut her off. What can Good. I do for you, Dolores? I'd like to order some. Oh, do you have pie. a thimbleberry pie? Sorry, there haven't been thimbleberries in Thimbleweed County for years. Your uncle Chuck, rest his soul, ate every last one of them. <laughs> he did like his thimbleberry pie. Okay, uh, so we need something to pick up those berries. I changed berries. my mind. I'm not hungry. Later, Dolores. Do you think our stuffed animal? I was thinking of stuffed animal. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? We got a wrench. We got a vacuum tube puller. And uh, maybe we can stick them in the um, cup there. We tried that before, but it didn't grip it. The street ends just. Hmm. So either. Does he have any? Go back to the quickie. Go back to that quickie. Pow. Oh wait, maybe the tissues from the bathroom. One sheet is enough. All right then. You left the water on, Pugman. <laughs> How'd you know it was me? Welcome to Quickie Hall. Can I help you find anything? Um, Let's have a look. I don't think he has anything we could. Bear repellent. We got the bear repellent mm. again. Nail drop. Cards. I don't think so, Pug. Okay. Oops, oh, she passed out there. Now the... The foil, I guess, even though it doesn't make much sense, it's on Ransom. Well, we'll try one thing. If that doesn't work, we'll get the others in there. It's radioactive again. I see glowing footsteps. Uh, maybe not fall it apart. Well, you suppose you could. That's where. Th I bet they'll take us right past it. There we go. Okay. Now. The, yeah, the cup. It only works on vacuum tubes. Use mass trophy. I don't want to use it with that. Use chinchilla. Oh, lean. You're so soft and fluffy. You use... Oh, they're lean. I can't, you You're can't so use not. soft and okay. fluffy. Tin foil, maybe you got to leave the forest. Tin foil. Oh, he's right there. That's good. Hey, Ransom. I need to get into the factory to get my prototype doll back. I don't think we need to use C4 on the berries. Last resort, shit pants. <laughs> We'll blow them off the bush. <laughs> Just do it himself, shit pants. Just walk him. Okay. Stick out! <laughs> <laughs> That's where the. Okay. Use. Foil. I better save it for something else. Mm. <sighs> Shall we have our cobra use it? <laughs> what else does he have? Uh, candy dispenser. Yeah. Itch cream comes in handy. Ransom the clown comic. Ooh. We we looked at That's this. Cool. Bleep all of you. Hey, <laughs> bleep faces. Buy my bleeping book. <laughs> That's a rare first edition of my fantastic comic book. Alright. 
Somebody's got to have something. Can we look at the berries? Um, it's a bush with red berries on it. Who's got something? Let's have a look. Has you know what? Didn't, didn't Ray have a, a bear on him? Uh, a bear on him? Yeah, that you can turn into a pillow. <laughs> I, I think he did have that. There's like a bear paperweight. Oh! 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 Is that bush is razor sharp. It's a razor sharp bush. I have to leave. Let's take a look at the other guys. Sticky tape. Hmm. What about this bottle? Ship in a bottle? I don't want to play games with my starship now. Hmm. I don't see anything. What can we pick berries with? Oh. There was one more thing I was What's thinking What's this of. office cage? That, yes. That'll be inside the factory, I think. We also still need to get to the... Um, that fingerprint in his, in his office. And we haven't used this boot disk for anything. Mm -mm, it's not fitting. It's not formatted to the computers we've tried. Um. Is there a computer at the radio station? I don't think so. No, I think I would remember isn't. that. Ransom doesn't have one at the circus. I don't think there's one down in the sewer. <laughs> Bus station? No, there's not one there. Can we and check out the con again? What are we are we missing an item or we can't think of what to do with the items we have? Well, I, I we need some thimbleberry pie. The only place to get one is that bush that we've seen so far. There are some coins at the bottom. What a waste of money. Uh, just how do we get them? Hello, Nothing. Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, a boo. I just wanted to see if he's checking out more rooms on the computer. Right. He does it The so door often. to Thimblecon. Anything here? No. Their comics, D and D manuals, and a priceless and rare text adventure hint guide. Ooh. No touching. Then what, what he might want is the first copy of that clown's comic. <gasps> oh! You, you think? think he'd be? You think he'd be willing to part with that? Go and if give we, it a go. If we talk nicely to him, he might. <laughs> what do you think? Looking at that face. <laughs> That's not going to happen. <laughs> He's not going to talk nice to anybody. Okay. I mean, he's only selling it for a buck each on that other stuff, but I guess it's rare. I guess it's priceless. Pew, pew, pew! Look at my first edition comic book of me. It's got to be <laughs> worth a fortune. Wow. Oh first no! Well done. The clown comic. After his total meltdown, that's become a collector's item. You almost look like him, except your costume is pretty crappy. I'll trade you the priceless Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide for it. What a ripoff. Good thinking, Pug. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, so we've got a hint book. Uh, use the red die. Ah, oh, yeah. Colossus Dungeon Cave Quest is an award-winning and groundbreaking text adventure set in a colossal dungeon cave where players go on a quest. Yay. Okay, let's give that. And she's right here. Thanks. Too. That works out, Pug. Pew, pew, pew. 
Wow. Ah. Famed text adventure game designer Ron Gilbert was quoted as saying that text adventures are here to stay. The fad of adding graphics will die soon enough. <laughs> when entering the colossal dungeon cave, heading to the east will cause instant death. Head into the west and look around. There isn't much to see, but you might notice something important. It is rumoured the designers hid something here, but it's never been found. It might just be a red herring. Head to the west again. You will find yourself in a room with a beam of light. Many have pondered the significance of the light and its relationship to the larger story being told. Warning, while in the chamber with the robots <gasps> issuing the secret debug word, Fizzgum. Oh, wait a second. Let me write that down. Will hard crash the game and take down the entire computer, forcing a lengthy reboot. Still means n not too much to me, Chip Pants. I think it's like in game stuff there, Pugman. You think it's end game stuff, Chip Pants? I, I think it's in game stuff because it's like we're living in Ron Gilbert's game within a game. Well, we can't move forward still, though. Well, what's this? Head to the west and look around. There isn't much to see, but you might notice something. Blah blah blah. But this might is just be a red herring. Have we seen a red herring somewhere? We have. The actual bird, or a fish? A fish. <laughs> I don't remember seeing a fish, but I think maybe it's when we enter, enter a colossal dungeon cave. We didn't see a red he the, the word red herring. Red herring. Under in the sewers or something. He's somebody said it could be a red herring before. Yeah, before even before that. Mm. Um, I don't think so. Head to the east will cause death. We've also we've offered to give somebody items as a red herring, like the comic book guy. So what am we going to do with this then? We're not anywhere if, if we don't have a use for it. <sighs> I'm gonna chip pants. I'm going back under the to the. Um, is it the, it's the sewers? Oh, it's okay. a revolving door. It's a revolving. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, peoples. But I'm going to check it out all the same. Unless chip pants or peoples, if oh. you speak up, have a better idea. Because it does talk about a pool of light. I was trying to think how that, and it, and it is kind of a cave. And so yeah, why not? We're behind you, pug. You guys behind me? We're behind you. Body's still there. He's behind you too. Okay, we'll follow our directions. What is this? The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. A red herring. Go on in, Pug. I think we gotta follow the directions inside. But is this? It looks like a door or something. Mm. Maybe a stick of dynamite. Ooh. And spark it on the foil? Or something? Yeah, I don't come on. Be I don't want to be near it as... Chip, <laughs> you already blew up these, her mansion and yeah. killed everybody. You just make sure you save before you, you play with that dynamite there. <laughs> what do you think? Why Maybe? not? I don't, I don't have any other ideas, and it sounds like fun. And if you're not having fun, then what's the point? That's true. That, 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 is, that is good wisdom there, Pinkles. <laughs> if you're not having fun, then why bother? <laughs> This guy just makes me happy just from the walk. <laughs> Even though he's so miserable. That would make a huge mess. Yeah, that's the <laughs> point. That's um, the first! How about you use the C4 with the foil again? Maybe it'll scrape off a little bit. That doesn't seem to work! What is that about? Hmm. Maybe... Okay, so just use the book for down in the directions, that and maybe that'll give us something mess. to use. For the okay, end of the tunnel. 
Enter the tunnel, and then yep, follow okay. the directions. Okay. I don't want to go in there. I have melophobia. All right, pass it over to him. Okay. See if he'll do it. Wait, 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 you gotta get our directions. I'm not going in that hole. What? I don't do cannons or dark places. Yeah, that. He doesn't do cannons or dark places, Chipmunks. <sighs> FBI agent time. Oh. This is probably completely wrong. Uh, I think it's a good idea. There's nothing here. Nope. Way to close the door behind you, Pug. Letting out the AC. I get it. <laughs> See if there's anything hidden down there. And will he go That's in? That's disgusting. Better take a deep breath. Okay, he will go in. Okay, good. So let's hand over the uh, book. Happy to help. And happy to decoder. help. There we go. Have one more little read. Okay. When entering the dungeon caves, heading to the east will cause instant death. So head west and look around. Okay. There's nothing to see. But you might notice something important. It's rumored the designers, blah, blah, blah. It might just be a red herring. East is certain. Oh, let's say we haven't entered yet. Okay, okay. Well, we can only go one direction anyway. Hmm. Now, maybe I'm off chip pants. This doesn't make sense. It's a sturdy, impenetrable gate. This looks like the other side of the gate I was stuck behind before. I have no desire to go back there. Okay. Hmm. So that's where he was before. Can we not open it? He won't go in there? I can't budge it. He said he's got no desire to go in there, too. Okay, I'm no, pushing no. it. Oh. I can't believe I just did that, Chip Pants. I didn't think it would just do it. I just I knew what it was that I knew what it was. <laughs> Well, it looks like um, Dolores is going to get the will, then. <laughs> oh, cruddy dough, peoples. Oh. oh, and that bombshell, friends. We're going to leave it there. Oh, my That's God. That's bad luck, Pug. I would have done the same. Did it do a quick save for me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, luckily, it saved it right here. That's nice. Very kind of the game. <laughs> Alright friends, we'll, we'll see you on the next episode while we probably pee about down here a little bit more. <laughs> Till then. Till then, friends. Save and quit. <laughs>